What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Maya's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about how you can level up fast and get that Cortland Sutton and throw him on your team and just go out there and ball out. Now, I will tell you this. Earlier today, there were some glitches going on with the competitive field pass. But once they fixed it, it seems to be working again pretty well. Um, you're going to go ahead and need 200 competitive points. Now, the way that I've been breaking it down every two weeks or every couple days as far as the legends well not the legends but as far as like the level up goes um there are legends that are being dropped regularly that are probably going to make these cards not be as good but for the most part these cards are really really good like um the trevor lawrence um you know who was the other guy that we use right now um he's the corner right now i forgot his name now dude w what's the dude's name the corner the, the, the big tall guy woolen Woolen. So they've been pretty good. But as this expires, the legends like, you know, Rod Woodson, you know, would you want to get them for your team as opposed to a guy that's not your team chemistry? You have to make that decision. But the reason that I'm pointing that out is because these cards have been really, really good. And for the first time in a very long time, they're actually able to start on my team. All the players that I just named, the Trevor Lawrence, the Woolen still actually placed me. And then this guy, he might actually get a starting spot. All right, so you guys were asking like, yo, gee, what's the level up method that you're going to be running with uh, for this situation? So look, let's go ahead and break it down really quickly, right? Solo battles are going to have to be a must. Make sure that you check these objectives because some of these were missing for me earlier today. And also remember, every couple days you'll miss solo battles if you don't get them done. I think they only hold like two days. So if you go to that third day, you're going to miss like the initial start. All right, so just be careful with the way that you do this stuff because... It can really, really be bad for you. This four, six fumbles in a solo battles game is also a nice little addition. But the MVP or higher, um, you know, the veteran or higher, stuff like that, just play it on Legend, guys, and blitz the CPU until their eyeballs drop out. They're going to cheat you, but that's the best way, honestly, to do it. The solo battles are so key. I know my offline players are pretty, like, angry with the fact that EA is not doing enough. But I have to tell you, right, these players are very, very good and... I do believe they should add more stuff, you know, you know, as far as like challenges that can help you do it. But I just think that they're looking at it like they're doing it every two weeks and it has to be some kind of reward for ding, 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 playing online. So like I told you guys before, with the way that this works, right, it's a very, very interesting situation because with the way that the head to head is like they actually updated this while I was playing and then I got more credit for other things. So you see, like with the 30 games, they originally gave me these first. And then I tweeted at EA, and then they updated it. So I'm a little back. So actually, I'm supposed to have four, but still, I'm there. But it just updates as it goes, which is why I'm trying to tell you. They don't really do retroactive stuff. So if you guys are still missing XP, unless they grant you XP, you're not going to get it. And that's the brutal, honest truth based on what they did to me and a lot of my viewers. And I'm really disgusted about it. And I talk about it a lot. And I just want in the future for them to do a better job of making sure we get what we grind for because that's why we grind the game. All right, so I'm going to have to take this L and do more wins, whatever, but it doesn't matter. It, it is what it is. All right, this is also going to be a good addition, and the reason that I'm focusing on this is because you can actually control your destiny with this segment because you can make, you could keep yourself in a certain division after you get to a certain point and just play like whatever, just start throwing Stevies or whatever. You'll remain in that division that you're comfortable with, and you won't get the high-level competition. So this one right here is really, really good for you guys, and I've gotten very, very positive feedback about this you know gee yo ever since you told me to just stay in my division i play the way i can play i get my losses but i still get a suitable amount of wins and remember you have two weeks to go through this so let's say for instance let me just back out of this real quick let's say for instance right you're in rookie or whatever one of the you know one of the uh, earlier ones are let's say you know you're in the early one we're gonna go over there and just take a look at it real quick all right let's say that you're in the rookie division if you win five games you're going to pro you win five games of pro, you go into veteran. So you, based on your skill level, you should still be able to attain these wins. Trust me when I tell you, it gets sweatier and sweatier. But I want each and every one of you guys to enjoy the players that are there without having to deal with the excessive stress, which means if you're trying too hard and you're winning too many games, you're going to end up playing top tier competition and they're going to probably beat the brakes off you. And then you're going to get discouraged and then you're going to be like, yo, I don't want to do this. I'm going back to play, you know, solo battles. But you get so less, so much less of the competitive points when you just do strictly solo battles. All right. So I'm going to urge you guys to go ahead and check out that method. You like as long as you stay within your range of what you're doing, you're going to be all set. 
So the goal naturally is to get 200 points, right? To get the Cortland Sutton. I usually go all the way. I want everything. All right, so I'm, my goal is 300, and I did it for both weeks. Well, all three weeks, because this, this is part three. So what I'm showing you guys right now is to get the maximized amount. So solo battles are absolutely necessary. Try your best to not skip any, at least for the first week, and accumulate these points. Always on legend. Blitz the breaks off of them, or if you guys want to go to veteran and only get the eight, for winning those, that's fine. But when you go legend, you get credit for all of them at once. And that's the glitch. So you need to learn how to run double A gap blitzes. You need to run, you, look, the CPU is really bad when you send everybody. And I've played several of them, uh, several online, uh, you know, well, live on my YouTube live streams early in the morning. If you guys sub to me, you guys know. If you're a member, you know what the deal is. Don't miss any of these. These are very, very critical to it. And that's why I always get the max of the 300. Mutt champions are absolutely huge because after you get the five, 20, 20, 20, 20, like, you know what I'm saying? So if you do at least, you know, 20 games, if you win like 15 to 20 games the first week, you could do like me and not even play any the next week. You know what I'm saying? For the second week, because you'll get everything, uh, you know, for the most part, if you need 35 and then you play a little bit over 15 or you play the 20 and you win 20, you know, you only need 15 the next week. So you do this based on your skill level and your skill set, but this is probably the most lucrative version of getting the competitive points. But this right here is the glitch straight up because you can control your destiny with it. Um, the sets, just go ahead and complete 80 to 81, 82 to 83, get those, you know, that 10 and 10 is very huge. And then the stats. Now, this is extremely easy to get 12. So all of you guys should already have this level. You know what I'm saying? Except, you know, with the exception of the rushing yards, because I don't really run the ball a lot, so it's pretty difficult for me, but I have to remind myself to do it. And, uh, you know, because of the objectives, but these are very, very easy ways to go ahead and jump a lot of competitive points. Like you can see, I'm already at level eight. So, you know, I'm almost there. Like pretty much, you know, once we get to, um, you know, the level 22, we already got Cortland Sutton. But it takes a little bit of time of grinding the solo battles um, and making sure that you're on legend. The Mutt Champions, like I said, is the more difficult uh, feat, but you get so much from it. And as you go through it, remember, there are no longer packs and coins and stuff like that. You only get the player as a reward. All right. Like you're not getting separate rewards. You get it as it goes through. All right. So depending on your skill level, you want to focus on head to head and solo battles, because if you don't miss any, I think I think I calculated it where you would have to win a certain amount of head to head season games after you get the stats. This one done. And uh, obviously the sets, you could still get it if you played every single solo battle on Legendary. So you would need a few more head-to-head, uh, -head, I think maybe like 10 head-to-head -head game wins or something like that. And maybe a few Mutt Champion games, maybe five to get that 12. Well, you get two each one, and then you get the 10 when you get to five. Realistically, you can get it done if you're an offline player, if you just follow these guidelines. So you don't have to go crazy and get extra sweaty, all right? So you focus on solo battles, Head-to-head -head seasons, I believe it's about 10 wins if you do all of them. And then Mutt Champs, I think you got to win another five. And then that gives you 200. But again, if you're going all the way to the 300 uh, competitive points like I am to max it out, you're going to have to do a little bit of all of them. All right? As always, if you have any other questions, comments, all that good stuff, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.